I'm not a fan of the camp of don't go to college. I think okay. the way the uh, economy is working today and in the future, the amount of knowledge that's increasing constantly, you know, you, we're going to need some sort of education after high school. The question is when? When do you need it? Do you need it at 18 or 19? Maybe you need it at 22 and 23 when you're more ready for it. Right. What we need to do, I think, as a country is think of other alternatives to college after high school, where students could explore careers, where they could improve their academic standing, um, where they could just learn about themselves as a person. Um, big, I'm a big fan of, of gap year experiences. Unfortunately, I think they're limited in their options and they're usually for you know, wealthier um, individuals. But it's something I think for parents to consider. You know, maybe your son or daughter, um, and maybe you as a student are not quite ready. You know, just because you take off six months or a year doesn't mean you're never gonna go. Absolutely. And in some ways, it actually might be better because if you go and you're not ready, chances are you're not gonna make it. College is worth it. Go to a college where there's a go good fit, but don't overextend yourself. The data is, is, is really clear that, that, that there is still a premium for, for a college degree. Uh, your, your chances of, uh, of doing well financially, professionally, uh, in, in later life, uh, are enhanced by a factor of two or three uh, if you persist in college to, um, to get a, a degree. Um, that being said, it matters how well you do. Uh, so an, 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 average, an average student uh, who, who kind of coasts through, through a program that's not very challenging is going to do less well uh, than someone who takes a challenging program and does extremely, uh, extremely well. Um, and and, and that's, always, that's always the balance that you, that you have to strike.